think we can rely on code uh, if it's designed well. Um, I think trust, I think of it as, as something we reserve for people. Uh, we trust the people that make the code, we trust the processes uh, that uh, validate, that um, make sure the code is, is trustworthy. So um, I, I would think, yeah, so I tend to think we trust the people and then rely on the code that they make. I think, you know, in, in a way technologies, as McLuhan said, are extensions of ourselves. So there are certain ways in which technology, uh, the technology of the mirror can reveal things about ourselves that we wouldn't have otherwise known, which can enhance our understanding of ourselves. Um, but, you know, it can also be the mirror that then we, you know, Narcissus falling into the, into the pond, uh, it can also kind of seduce us and, and work against us. So I mean, I think, I don't think it's either or, I think it can go both ways. I hope it will be better. Um, I think uh, it's, it's hard to tell. Um, I mean, I think if, if we can identify the problem and talk about it correctly, um, and then, you know, make the right kind of changes in the incentives in society and organizations um, that result in the kind of design that we value, the kind of design that's on our side, that uh, you know, supports what we want to do rather than hinders it, then I think we can, I think we can turn, turn the, the, the steering wheel and pull the car uh, back onto the road. I, mean, I think everyone is a target of the forces of the attention economy. Um, everyone has psychological vulnerabilities. Um, I don't think anyone is, is sort of biologically or you know somehow structurally set up from the start to um, to be able to sort of fight against them uh, so yeah I think I think we're all subject to this form of attentional government so to speak um, some people may be in a certain context or life situation where they can mitigate some of the uh, the worst um, effects of it but yeah no I think we're all we're all in it together yeah.